Welcome back to Rhyming Timing. Today, we're getting right into letters B and C in cursive handwriting. We're doing both together because C is really easy. Look, it looks just like print C, and it's just as easy to make. Once you know print C, cursive C is very easy, but B, that's a little tricky, and they don't look alike. Uppercase and lowercase do not look alike, but I'm going to teach you. You need a notebook and a pen, not a pencil. You need a pen. Gabe, go get a pen. Hello, Struvula. Hello, Valerie, Matthew, and James, Luke. How are you? Good to see you. And today we're beginning <clears throat> cursive B. I'll do one. I'll do one quickly. And then I'll do one very, very slowly with you. So get ready. All right. Cursive B. Starting at the top line. Make a little, I used to call that hair. Make a little head of hair. Come down, a slanted line down, back up on the same line. Now a loop to the center and a little bigger loop for the bottom and then come across like a boat. That's uppercase B. Now lowercase B looks very different and it's a little difficult. Starting at the bottom line. You make a slanted curve forward, come to the top, a slanted line back. Now a hook and a little shelf. All right, pick up your pen. Let's do uppercase B together. Let's do two of them together. Very slowly, do it with me. And remember, no erasing. If you make a mistake, we're gonna keep going. That's important. Starting at the top, a little bit of hair for the B. Slanted line down, up on the same line. A loop, come to the center. A little bigger loop, and now a boat. We're gonna do that again. Some hair, slanted line down, back up on the same line, a loop, a bigger loop, and a boat. Okay, you're gonna practice. You know you need practice for anything you do. Lowercase b, lowercase b, starting on the bottom line. Remember, it's a curved line forward, then a curved line back. You're making a long loop. Lowercase b, curved line forward, curved line back, a hook, and a shelf. We're going to do that again. Ready? Starting on the bottom line. Curve line forward. Up, 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 up to the top. Curve line back. A hook to the center and a shell. That's it. Practice a few of them. Wait till you see letter C. Oh, it's so easy. So easy, just like uppercase. I'll do one and then we'll do it together. Let us see. The only difference between cursive and print is that it has this little loop on the top and then you come down backwards, circle, and yeah, just like print. All right, nice and slowly, pick up your pen, starting at the top. C starts at the top. Make a little loop. Now, a backwards curve, come up almost to the center, and stop. Lowercase c. Lowercase c starts on the dotted line. Okay, you ready? Pick up your pen, dotted line, lowercase c. It's a little hook there, and now a little small circle, and up. A hook, a small circle, and up. How easy was that? 
Let's join them. Last time we did can, tan, and, and family. Let's try Bob. Uppercase, with an uppercase B, like my friend's name is Bob, and then one with a lowercase B, like I will Bob for apples. You can use Bob two ways. All right, uppercase B, and we're going to join it. Are you ready? You're going to do it with me? B-O-B. -B. Pick up your pen, and starting at the top line for the B. A little hair, slanted line down, back up on the same line, a loop, and another loop. Now watch this. This boat keeps going, and it's going to be the top of the O. Stop. Come back around. Join it and make a loop. That's O. Now lowercase b. Backwards loop. A hook and a shell. Doesn't that look good if you were putting that on an envelope? And mail is fun. Bob. Now lowercase b, Bob. Bob, Bob. Starting on the bottom. Hook forward and back. A hook here. Shelf. Watch the shelf. Becomes the top of the O. And you stop. And you go back around. Make a loop at the top of the O. Now that top of the O, watch this, becomes that loop of the B and a hook and a shell. Bob is my friend. I will bob for apples. Let's put together C-A-B. Cab. Cab. Let's write the word cab. Cab. I'll call a cab to get somewhere. So lowercase c, starting on the bottom line, I mean on the center line, the dotted line, a little hook, c, there's a backwards curve, a, now watch, the tail of the c comes up, and you stop, go back on that tail again, that's the a, and a slanted line up, now the tail of the a, is going to be part of the B. Backwards curve and that little shelf, cab, cab. Hmm, what else can I write with the letters uh, C-A-B? What else can I write? Cab, can I rhyme with cab? I can write dad, cab dad. Dad, but you didn't learn D yet, but D is not as difficult. D starts in the middle and it looks like, you know what it looks like? It looks like you're gonna start in A. There's the D. And you come up, all the way up, that's the difference. Back down on the same line, there's D. And now A. That becomes the A, you stop. Oh, I'm gonna make a dab. Dab, dab, not dad, dab. And there's the B, like a dab of sugar, a little dab of cream. Cab, dab, cab, dab. I'll do that again, once more. No, you saw, you're gonna try it. You have to practice. All right, the next time we do the next letter, we did A, B, C. D. D is next. D is a little tricky. Uppercase D does not look like lowercase D, like the B's, but we're going to do it. Okay, boys and girls, you need to practice, and I'll see you soon at Rhyming Timing. Goodbye.